A story of hope and courage that will be recognized this weekend with a special honor. It's for a Bucks County surgeon who was sidelined with a devastating diagnosis, but he and his family have found a way to feel grateful. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with more on the doctor's fight. Yeah, this is a fight for sure, guys. You know, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease is one of the most feared. It is a slow, difficult death. For patients and their families, it's a race against time, with American research being so slow. But the theme for this family is broken hearted but not broken. Scroll down. Bob Sinnott checks email with a voice activated phone because the hands of this one time surgeon don't work anymore. One of the many crushing realities that come with ALS. The hardest part for me when I got diagnosed was telling my kids. I mean, I've given people bad news a thousand times in my life about cancer diagnosis and different things, but telling them was really hard. Since he was diagnosed two years ago, his family in Bucks County has watched the progressive neurodegenerative disease disease slowly robbed the doctor's ability to move. Everything changes. Bob is facing a slow, crippling death. Yes, there's sadness and fear, but also... I'm grateful for what I have, and I think gratitude is a fuel. I think if you look at the blessings in your life every day, that's what keeps me going. And they're fighting. Family and friends have had a variety of events to fight ALS and support the Hope Foundation at Temple. And because the currently approved FDA medications are not very effective, Bob is taking dozens of supplements and trying different therapies. So this helps break up uh, muscle spasm. I want to do everything I can to slow progression as long as I can to be as functional as I can. That includes going to South Korea for stem cell treatments, which they think have helped. And while there's exciting U.S. research underway, it's notoriously slow and time is not on their side. If I'm ever having a bad day, I just have to look at all the cards I've received from friends, family, and patients. And it just makes me get up and try and work as hard as I can every day. He is fighting for sure. Now, Bob will be honored at the upcoming gala for the ALS Hope Foundation at Temple. The foundation is doing ALS research and provides patient support. We have more information for you, cbsphilly.com. Click on health. An amazing family. Absolutely. I was just going to say, incredible Hope and man courage, and family. Right? No doubt about yeah. it. Wow. wow. No doubt. Thank you, Stephanie.